following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the United States of America, the King. What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to my second match of my WWE career. I blew the boot right there, so you know, I'm just letting you guys know I'm ass. But uh all this dude Tommy Wall want to do is chain wrestle, and I'm not about that, so we're gonna go ahead and throw him up off me real quick. Get up over them ropes. Now I messed up because I wanted to hit him with the clothesline the first time around, but I get it to go the second time. Now as he lays dead, I come out the ring, and I'm about to get this man a little double hammer fist real quick, you know. I beat him in his head. Now, I don't know why he's grabbing his ankle. You know, I didn't really hurt him that bad. But I wanted to let you guys know that I am working on my agility, my momentum, my leg and arm power, especially my arm power, and a little bit of my grappling. You guys are probably going to see more grappling in the later videos, probably like episode four and five. But for right now, I'm working on my boxing, man. I just want to make sure I'm that guy. Now he's trying to throw me all up into the post and we just bump chest there. You know, we were bros for a split second. But as I hit him with the clothesline, you guys can probably still hear the ref calling out the uh, count. And I really don't care about that, man. You know, this ain't for the belt. So if I get counted out and I get this L, it's going to be a straight up L. So I get back in the ring right here after I try to grab his leg and nobody was there anyway, but it's all good. Now the clothesline. It's probably my go-to move when I'm running. Um, I like throwing a boot out there, but sometimes it doesn't connect. And knowing me, I don't have like the fastest legs in the world. He tries to catch it and stuff like that, and I ain't got time for that. But um, I hit him with the boot there, you know. Um, and just to let you guys know, Tommy Wall is very slow. Like, very slow. Now, if I was going up against somebody like uh, the last guy I fought, he would have probably grabbed it, you know, and I'd have been done. But um, I just wanted to talk about how this dude looked like the Hulk real quick. We just gonna get into that. I wish that he would go onto Nickelodeon and get blasted with that green stuff, you know, and just say Hulk smash. That would be cool, right? I think that it would be awesome. That's just me thinking out loud. I'm sorry, but check him out as he hits me with a nice little uh, slam right there. Now it's funny because he slams me and he's dead tired. Look at him crawling to get up. That's what I mean by having stamina, guys. You gotta have stamina starting this game out. But check it out. He caught my leg. I'm a little bit too slow, and he gave me a nice little reverse slam. It's all good, though, because I get right back up. His kicks and punches are so slow that I can actually catch myself, catch his legs, catch his arms, and stay safe. Now, I gave him a little torn out the ring, and I'm like, you know what? I might as well go out there and have fun with him. So, wait for him. Hit him in the back. Now, check this out. This count right here is going to go to the max. Like, I don't know what I was doing, but, like, right after one of these slams, I just was dead to the world. Like, I didn't know what was going on. So, I hit him with the boot, and I'm listening to the ref count. He's, like, four, and I'm like, you know what? I got, like, 30 minutes to get myself together. But he gave me a nice little suplex. Now, with that German suplex, I'm, like, dead right now. Now, he called out six, right? Now, look what happens. I don't get in the ring. I throw a punch. He counts the seven, and I get back out, right? Beat this. That's eight. Mind you, I didn't get back in the ring. 
Now he's about to call out nine. He calls out nine, and I'm ready to quit the match. But I get back in at the split second of him about to call out ten. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's realistic WWE fashion, yo. Ten seconds took like three minutes. <laughs> it was so insane. But I'm just trying to get everything right. I only have 67% for my special, so I got to land some good shots. And I got to just taunt him a lot. So I hit him with a nice reversal here. Now check this move out right quick. I'm about to show you guys a little, little something, something, something. Give him a little submission hole real quick. You know, I gave him a little bit of everything now. Now, I do have to work on my submission. I will say that I am no submitter in this game at all. But check out this nice little reverse slam, slam from the back. I'm saying give him a little chest, chesty real quick, you know, like a GoPro. But uh, <laughs> I get him in another submission. And, of course, we do have a rope break. I don't know what I was thinking there. I was just trying to get him in something. Now, I'm just trying to land shots because I noticed that I am very close to my signature. So, right here... I just get behind him, give him another uh, little submission. And of course, he's going to kick out of it. But I do have my signature ready. So when he get that butt up, you know what time it is. It's about to be signature time. So I give him a little jab. Get him woozy, you know. Give him a little jab. Give him a little showboat. Like the way I dance. You know, like the way I show off for the crowd. Woo! Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Woo, y'all. Now go ahead and give this video a like because you already know what time it is, man. It's time for that finisher. I'm charging him up. I'm about to treat this man like a punching bag. He know what time it is. It's goddamn, so give him another jab. Give him another jab. You know you like the way I step into my jab. Watch my feet, baby. Now, uh, I know you guys love those uppercuts, but I will say I am going to change my finisher and all of that real soon. I know it's real cheesy. I know you guys want more big slams and everything like that, but give me time. You know, there are so many moves in the moveset for my career and for creative players. It's going to take me a long time to get a finisher. It's going to take me a long time to get signature moves. Stuff off the ropes. You know, things involving ladders and tables and stuff. It's going to take a lot for me to learn. So, I'm just going to be going through all the moves, learning it all, and making sure that I equip the right moves for me. I will say this, though. That back spinning kick and that leg sweep, I'm not going to be giving those up. Those are my go-to moves, man. When I'm losing bad... You best believe I'm leg sweeping everybody out there. Anybody coming to the ring, just expect the leg sweep. I swear to God, just expect the leg sweep. But this is IKC signing out. We are powered by Elgato Gaming, so thank you once again, Elgato, for that HD 60, man. Bringing it to you in 60 frames per second. But I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.